Welcome to another episode of Opinionated Off Topic. And today we got a special product that we're going to display and it might get a little interesting with the card selection. But this is a series called 40. It's a statement of 40 cards and topics and issues that are on real life modern issues that you should probably discuss. This first card kind of goes into detail of what 40 is. It says, we aim to open discussions on some of the world's most interesting topics. There are no winners and losers, and all opinions count. Enjoy responsibly. So I found out about these cards from my friend Churchill. I went to Fort Lewis with him. He played soccer there. Um, it's a European thing, so I think it's very new. We're actually very honored and blessed to be the first people in the United States to get these cards and obtain them. And I don't know if we're the first to make content on them, but if we are, even better. Even better. So you can get these cards if you want to purchase them through Amazon and Amazon Prime. I know we had ordered them a long time ago, probably like February and March is when we received them. But you can go follow them at 40follow.com or on Instagram. We'll definitely have, the, have that tagged below. And a, little and a little bubble as well. But with that being said, our cameraman... Albert Brasenio is going to read us five random cards, and we're going to, me and Carlos are going to discuss the topics. If you want to get on this with us to discuss the topics in the future, let us know via email or just contact us, and um, we're going to get right into it. You're so formal with that intro. You got to yeah. say the last name oh, and everything. The last one. It's like Jeez, only y'all can see the last one. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, um, before we get into this, how do you... How do you how are you feeling about this? You kind of scared. Uh, I don't think I'm scared. Is it, uh, I think because I don't know anything about this. You just told me about it. Is it more like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, is it more like uh, offending problems? Like he's going to ask us. Like, uh, like, will people get offended? Maybe it depends on our answers, but I also think it's like topics that people probably think or have thought of, but they've never like brought it to discussion. So I think it's like stuff that maybe has some importance or relevance and like we need to like i'm not saying we need to discuss it but it definitely like pits people like opposite their opinions on opposite you know spectrums and stuff like that just so. different perspectives yeah yeah all right i'm kind of scared but let's let it rock let's go let's get it ready? yeah uh, unfortunately uh so the first one says confessing adultery is inherently selfish confessing adultery is inherently <laughs> selfish. no comment <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This man is in the future too much. That evil. Is this supposed to be serious? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, it is. But. Repeat that one more time, I'm sorry. Confessing adultery is inherently selfish. How is it selfish? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think it's... Selfish? What's selfish I, about that? I don't think it's selfish. I think it's honest. Maybe I guess if they're saying it's selfish because, um, what you did was selfish, like cheating or like, you know, you know, snooping around with someone else. Like maybe, but it says confessing adultery. But like telling them, I think is like the honest thing to do. I feel so. Even though you did adultery, yeah, I still feel like you. I don't know. It's weird because I feel like you love that person. That's why you told them. Like you, May, if you uh, confess, well, if you confess it, that means like, or you just feel bad. You feel bad. Yeah, right. I mean, but you could, you could, you could, because if if you didn't confess, you wouldn't care. You just but you can let cheat. It go. You could cheat and then not feel bad too, and then or cheat and not love them. My bad. And then you feel bad just because like it's just the wrong thing to do, and like maybe this person's doing great stuff for you, vice versa, and then like your guilty conscience starts eating you up and it's like, all right, I want to tell him to get it off my chest. So maybe like, I just don't get how it is. I don't get how it's selfish though. Like I don't, I don't get how it's selfish either. It's just like, it's like, I think the act of cheating itself is selfish, but, che but telling the person isn't to me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how that's selfish. I mean, I get, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. Now, like doing it. Like is the selfish, action like, is, is selfish. Telling, telling, uh, the, like, my significant other, I cheated on you. Like that's, I feel like that's not selfish. That's what you're supposed to do. Well, yeah. you're not supposed to cheat first of all. I think maybe, I think the only like scenario I can see where it's selfish to confess is like, say like you have a family or something and it's established and then it's like, 
you cheated or whatever, which is wrong to do, but it's like, like on your wife. Yeah. Whatever. Kids. I mean, not kids, but like, Whoa, whoa hey. <laughs> not, not, not like that, but like, <laughs> but like, uh, you know, just like whatever, like your, your serious girlfriend, like say y'all have like a house or an apartment or like y'all shared bills or like y'all have obligations to each other. And it's like you cheated and then you tell them and it's just like, maybe you're the breadwinner or something, but it's like, maybe that person, maybe they have to stay with you like to live. And it's like, you tell them you cheated and it's like, so you think you should hide it if that's the case. Hey, Masa Minos. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say hide it, but I mean, depending on the perspective. So like, you're basically you're saying like you tell them, but they, you know, they're going to stay with you because they have to is basically what you're saying. I mean, there's situations like that that could happen. And it's like, that's kind of selfish to that person. It's like, damn, like this person just cheated on me, but like I rely on them. So like, it just ruins everything. I mean, it's just that's just very hard to answer because it's just it's not it's not selfish to tell them. It's just the right thing to do. Yeah, that's why I was like, it's selfish to do it, but it's not selfish to tell them. So I don't know on that one. But well, how, do you, how do you do? You, what do you think? I think it, I don't think it's selfish to tell them because I mean you're just owning up to what you did, you know. But like you said, it's selfish to like commit the act in the first place. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Don't be in a committed relationship if that's. What You're not gonna be committed. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. A history of mental health in a potential partner's family is a red flag. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think now we're coming to the age of where mental health is a big thing. Like I don't think from like our parents generation or generations before that like mental health wasn't a big thing because like it's i guess like frowned upon yeah to like be like that mm -hmm. and like you were considered like weak if you had like if you like got sad got depressed cried or whatever like off yourself or whatever it's like stuff like that and then i feel like now in today's age just like becoming a more serious thing because people see how like serious it is um you know what people do to themselves like when they're messed up mentally um not even do their selves but do it to other people mm, cause like that mental like distress on other people and i also think like just having really like friends i'm really close to and just kind of seeing it firsthand like especially when it comes to, like relationships and stuff i think um maybe like if a family member has it or something like that it can cause that person to maybe develop something along those I lines. I think it's, you can inherit it. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's along those lines. And that's another thing. Like when, when mental health was talked about, it wasn't like, like lot, people don't, people would just be like, Oh, there's, you can't be feeling depressed for no reason. Or you can't be feeling sad for no reason. That's, like, that's like what people don't get. They like, don't that's understand. depression. Yeah. They don't understand. That's literally it literally depression. is just random. Like it just random. It just happens. And like, that's okay. And like, people got to realize like, you know, a, a person who helped me understand depression was, was maniac. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, it was, do you think that's a red flag if someone has depression? Like, I mean, well, it that, can, yeah, that because it can, would that yeah, affect you wanting yeah, to be it with can. that person? It, it definitely can. can because like just from firsthand experience, it doesn't even like, necessarily have to be depression. I mean, mental, it could be mental anything. thing. Could, it could be anything. Yeah. Um, I mean, when I think of mental, I think of more than depression. I think of, all kinds of problems. Oh, you'd be like a compulsive liar. Yeah, a compulsive you liar, be angry, murderer, angry, like uh, bipolar, um, child molester, man, literally manic, anything, like all that stuff. And it's it's one of those things too, where like, um, I say it's a red flag. Maybe if a family member has it, um, that question is kind of stated weird because it's like, if a family member has it and then you date someone, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to affect y'all's relationship, but it also could affect... I feel like it affects the person, which can affect y'all's relationship. Because yeah, uh, it's like, say, like if someone's parents... Because it, it affects you in some yeah. way. Whether if it affects you in a bad way or not, it mm -hmm. still affects you in some way. Because they like have like you, those you, parents... You or... view things differently. Yeah, after like, that. even if it doesn't affect you in a bad way, like you don't start doing it, like you still view things differently. Well, say you go away about things differently. No, I feel that because like say if like a, if someone's parents are like, you know, they're 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 they like act a certain way, they treat their child a certain way, certain things like that. Like they're not they don't love them, like they don't take care of them, they you know are super mean to them, stuff like that. Then when it gets to maybe in a relationship, they might have some trust issues that they developed from their childhood and with their parent. And then when it comes to them loving someone else, they can't do it properly because it's like. 
you know, they, they weren't loving themselves or they didn't feel love exactly. themselves. And so they don't like, know, and they don't know what, what does it love feels feel like. like. Yeah, exactly. They don't know what it feels like. They don't know how to receive it or receive it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't know how to do yeah. that. So it's just like, yeah. it definitely can be a red flag, especially if you don't know everything. Like you can meet someone and think they're perfectly normal. And then like something chaotic could happen that probably has happened to them regularly or like how they act or something changed. And yeah. you might take it as you might react dramatically to it. Cause you're like, what's going on? Like, I don't know. But maybe if you would have known, like maybe if their family members had histories of that or if they're like that, then it, may, it makes it maybe easier to understand. And like when those problems arise or when there's a situation you have to deal with that, then you can like be there for them, understand and like things like that. Cause a lot of times when stuff like that happens, it's cause lack of understanding, like people don't communicate anything. And like, I understand like it's, it's hard for people to talk about like mental health and like things that are going on with them. And, that, so. and that's why, like, I, I feel like going forward, it'll be different. Because, like I said, with your communication uh, thing, it's back in the day, like, our parent generation and younger, you didn't communicate your feelings. Especially like, if with you're like, a guy. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're, like, the man of the house, you didn't commu- you, you weren't sad. You weren't depressed. You weren't, like, you're just the macho man. Like, you went to work, worked every day, um, provided food on the table and whatnot. And like you, there was no thing, there was such thing as feelings. Well, and especially with minorities too, like that's one of those things like Mm -hmm. I need to know from like, for like black families, like if you talk about mental health, like especially back in the day and even now, like you talk about like mental health and stuff, like, like black parents are like, there's nothing wrong with you. Like, yeah, it's it's like, and it's like, but that's what I said. I I feel like that comes from our parents' generation and younger. I mean, and older. Exactly. Um, Just stuff like that. And like I said, Excuse me. When I think of mental health, I just don't think of depression. I think of everything. Because for you to do stuff like that, you're, you're like, you're not mentally there all the way. And like, yeah, just, I don't know. That, that just why I, when I think of mental health, I think of stuff like that. And uh, it can come from your background. Mm-hmm. Or some people are just wired like that, too. I mean, I mean, I nine times out of ten, I feel like I come from background. I don't know about you, but I mean, some people are just wired differently. Like, person I just think of, I don't know if like Ted Bundy, for instance. I mean, he was probably just wired differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, some people are just some people are just like yeah. literally different. Like, yeah. and like, yeah, I think about it. Like, just taking in the aspect of like artists, for example. Like, a lot of my favorite artists, I can definitely tell like through their music and like what they illustrate, like they, they have like certain emotions, like they go through certain things, like they think differently with stuff. And, you know, it just, it's all about how you orchestrate stuff. Cause like a lot of people's favorite artists make like really, really sad music. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of my favorite artists make really, really sad music. Does that mean I'm a sad person? No, not necessarily. But like, that's the kind of music I gravitate and like, cause I just like hearing, cause it's to me, it's like real and authentic. So like when it goes and like just talking about mental things and, Things of that nature. Well, sometimes it's just a coping mechanism too. Yeah, exactly. Like it just helps you get through stuff. Yeah. You might not necessarily be going through what that is, but I don't know. Sometimes when I was sad, I listen to sad music, it made me happy. Yeah, just start. and it's just like, cause, well, because you also know, like, you're not the only one. Like, yeah. it's easy to feel like you're the only one that deals with like what's going on and things of that I mean, nature. It's like, why am I not like everybody else? But yeah, in reality, yeah. everybody at some point is like you. No, I agree. So. But um, yeah, I feel like it's a red flag for sure. Definitely, because it can. You definitely want to at least know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, um, just because it can trace down to yeah. other people. For sure. All right, the state shouldn't be involved in how parents discipline their children. Damn, that's a tough one, actually. Ooh. I mean, I, I ain't got no kids, so I'll, I mean. But still, you can, you, you can still, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. Just, <laughs> I would say yes and no. I definitely say there's definitely to an extent extremes. Like there's certain things you should yeah, not be able to do. Yeah, because there is a there is a um, documentary I just watched on Netflix, which was all over Twitter not too long ago, the Gabriel Fernandez documentary. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Yeah, like parents yeah, like actually crazy tortured the kid and beat the kid to death. Like, uh, obviously that stuff isn't acceptable. Yeah, no, but like, what like what was it? Adrian Peterson when he spanked his kid or whatever yeah. like to, to us that's perfectly normal and I think that's like geographical too you know like because yeah because like people like down south and stuff like that like spanking like stuff like that is normal but you go like maybe like to like the west coast normal. or something like it's like oh like pitch your kid in timeout stuff like that well there's also like I don't know my my, my girlfriend gets into it 
She says like she's not gonna discipline kids because like spank kids because it like has a uh, PTSD type effect. Yeah, um, like it can it, it like they makes them act out more. I don't think I think that's false. I mean, look at us. I think we've all probably. Oh, been I've been spanked. Yeah, that boy, and, I've that's been, what, and that's what I'm saying, though. Boy, like, boy, that, woo, hey, get hey, that corner right there, nil. Hey, toss and I'm talking about, hey, you know, when you have one of them bad whoopings coming, and you put like two pairs of shorts on, and like, dude, there was one, bro. <laughs> there was one time. This is, a, I mean, it, it, uh, there yeah. was one time my dad. I knew I was gonna get a spanking. And he told me to go to the room. Before I went to the room, I went to my 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 room. Yeah, and um, I put on like. Like literally, like five extra pairs of underwear. Yeah, and uh, my dad knew. Like I, when I, it, when, I when I when I when uh, I got spankings, I, I I was like timid. Yeah, and then um, he was like, "Put your hands on the bed," and I was like that. And he was like, "Oh," he, in his head, like he told me, he was like in his head, "Oh, you're like confident about that." So then he told me to pull down my my shorts, and I was like, "No," and he kept telling me, "Put on my shorts," I was like no, <laughs> and then I put them down. And then he said he tried so hard not to laugh because I had so many pairs of underwear on. Did you did you still get a spanking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, um, do you think that had a neg- negative effect on you as of, like, getting older? No. I think it's good. Personally, just because, like... And how, how is your relationship with your dad? I mean, I, I talk to my dad like he's... like. A friend, basically, and like it's weird because my dad and I don't have that. We have a father son relationship, but it's not like a normal father son. Like we just the way we joke around with each other is more like a a friendship relationship. So overall, you would say your relationship with him is pretty good. Yeah, for the most part. So I mean, that just kind of that statement. I mean, I mean, I feel like everybody has like everyone's definitely different. Yeah, but I feel like everybody at some point has problems with their parents. For sure, but I think, I think it's needed because, bro, no lie, like I've seen, like I'm not trying to make this a racial thing, but like you, you know, like minorities are disciplined a certain way. Like you see, you see yeah. certain kids like, like, in like Walmart, HEB, like grocery stores, acting a fool. I'm talking about yeah, acting a fool, kids. like just screaming, crying. Like I want that. So I'm, I'm talking about like talking back to the parents, like, you know, like cussing them out like stuff like that and then like, even just for example like my brother like moving to like Travis and stuff like these kids like just do whatever because like I feel like they were never really disciplined they never really had any consequences and it's like of, like to us like I'm not saying fear your parents but you should definitely respect them you should definitely not oh my dad but yeah that's what I I'm saying fear my dad at you, young should, age, you should not you should not be able to go to your parents and just like approach them any kind of ways and talk to them any kind of ways just because they never punished you and I think that that not punishing them that way sets them up because like you put a kid in timeout and stuff like that. It's like, whatever. Then you like, I th- I say like, you can definitely when kids get older, because like it gets a certain age, like when you're in your high school and stuff, like you can't really spank them. So you got to start taking stuff away, like privileges and stuff like that. And like, I think that's a good way to teach him. But I think early on, like. Yeah, because she, she said like. I don't know. I, I think, you, I think it it's needed, like a, to be honest. It just goes back to science. They did just did some like reports on it or whatever. And like people who like spank their kids and discipline their kids that way like their kids grow up to be like act out more that's cat I mean, like, <laughs> people do like experiments like that that's I so think 90 percent of the time they take a certain test group from a certain area and like they kind of skew the results most Dude, it's the so time. that's so cat think about i think all of us like every person i know has been spanked for the most part. Yeah. And probably mm-hmm. spanked like more than five times or like around five times. Well, you be acting on. Shoot, no. that man Colleen, woo, that boy used to get that leather. <laughs> he got leather? Boy, yeah. I, got a, I got a wood but, paddle. But I mean, I think it, I don't know. I think it. <laughs> well, you see, you don't know nothing about that paddle, huh? Shoot. A, a, about a, that, a, paddle, a paddle with uh, about that with holes? Whip, boy, that's my grandpa had. Uh, so, boy, some was, paddles with some holes? To get some, that, bro, yeah. I used to get hit on the hand as like a two-year-old toddler like on like newspaper roll. Like There's stuff like that. Oh, it's, yeah. Got, it's like, I, I don't think it's bad because it's like, you got to teach, like, some kind of principle. And, in, like, my, in my opinion, too, that also toughens a person up. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm spanking my kids. I'm sorry. Whatever my wife says, I'm like, look, like, if he's out here destroying stuff and breaking stuff, like, <laughs> like, like, he's not finna just getting, like, you're not getting away with that. Like, I'm, destroying you're finna get, you're finna stuff. get, you finna get a spanking. Like, just tell, hey, just tell her to watch the episode of the Boondocks where that, <laughs> <laughs> where, where, that where that kid was crying and then, you know, uh, uh, rest, rest, rest in peace, um, John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon, but he was like, 
You ever try whooping his ass? Yeah, and she was like, it. "What do you mean?" He over took he took off his own belt and gave it to him. <laughs> and then she she ran at him and you know started spanking. And it's like, it's just like stuff like that because that's just so relatable. Like I know everyone's seen like kids act a fool. I'm talking about in public and like yeah, yeah, yeah. and the parents don't know it, what to do. Mainly in grocery stores. Yeah, and the parents don't know what to like, do. And like it's just kids like, yelling at their like back just at their parents. Reckless. Yeah. I'm just like, bro, my my kid would have to. They would know better. Or they, we'd go outside. And they'd be getting that leather in the car. <laughs> and they ain't for to act a fool like that. Not in public. Can't spanking his kids. Are you spanking your kids? And it, I don't care about my wife. I mean, not with that. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna be like a, abusive, but no, I won't be abusive. I, I wouldn't want and not for I mean, just spank them for anything. it's hard It'd because have to be it's like, like crazy. I respect my girlfriend. I respect what like she like thinks and how she thinks and like how she wants to go about things. So it's like if she doesn't want to do it, then it's like hard for me to say, all right, well we're not like let's do it, you know? Because it's like if Audra didn't want to do it, how would you feel? Like would you still would you still spank them? Yeah, yeah. It depends. On I mean, yeah, do. I want to spank them. Like, no, nah, it depends on what they do. I think, I think there's definitely a reason because when I got spanked, like, yeah. what ha- what would happen is like I get spanked and my dad would ask like, do you understand like why you're in trouble? Oh, yeah, I always got talked to you after yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and he he would ask like, do you understand like why this is wrong yeah. or like why you're in trouble? And then like at the end of it, he'd always tell me like I love you yeah, and he'd yeah, give me a hug. Exactly. You know? Every single time. Yeah. And and I- it wasn't like I probably I probably get like a few good ones, but, <laughs> but but I wasn't just out there getting like just like hit for thirty minutes. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I got like at most like four spanking, four, like, like at one, like four good one, ones. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and he always gave me the option like if I wanted to be spanked on my wrist or my butt. And the first time I picked wrist, I started picking butt after that. I mean, but think about it like this: my dad knew that my dad my dad knew not to to stop spanking me and Colin because we both did the same exact thing. I think we were both around age 12 or 13. He, like, swung the bell, and we both just grabbed it out the air, like, caught it, and he was like, all right, I can't do that no more because it's like, if we retaliate, like, like you know My like, thing is, like, I got to be damned if I grab that belt on my dad's hands, though. But it was just like, this is one of those things. I was like, bro, you're not going to just spank me for no reason. Just. And my thing, too. Is- <laughs> I always had a reason. That's the thing. So- <laughs> it's always the reason with me. <laughs> My dad also told me too, like if you own up to like your mistakes, you won't be in as much trouble. And like every time he brought something up, like what happened, or like when I like confessed without him even bringing it up, I would never get spanked. And he'd be like, "You're still in trouble. Like you can't play games for like a week or whatever." And like, dude, I'm actually like very like those results are straight cap. And I'm a yeah, just, because like I'm thinking about it now because like kids that are gonna act out more or kids that get got away with stuff when they were younger and they weren't disciplined, right? And it's just like, do you count time out as a discipline action though? Yes and no. I mean, sometimes it works, but sometimes. I mean, I got time out, but it was after I got spanking. Like it's I, different. Yeah. It's different. I got that's spanking. Not, that is. It's like go to your room, and then like then when I went to my room, it's like when I think about like what I did. I mean, it just depends on the person, but I. And then talk to me. To answer your question, if my significant other didn't want me to spank them, I'd be like, look, they're gonna ask whooping because they're yeah, acting up. They so do. would you still? I just think those results are cap. Bro. I don't know. I have to be in a situation. They, to be honest with you, so I don't cap. know, bro. I've seen like most of the most of the kids that are bad never got disciplined. They just got away with everything, like real, uh-huh. like for real. That's how I look at it. Like I don't think, I don't think just because you spank somebody means, you know what I mean? Like I don't know. I think we're trying this on, but at the end of the day. I definitely think going back to the original question, I definitely think the state should be involved at some point because oh, that was the original question to an extent. Because you shouldn't, you should like the Gabriel Fernandez, yes, yes, but like spanking your kids and like just stuff no. like that, and like that's not a, it's not a. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's ne- the what happened to that kid. That's not that's assault at that point. You know, that's not discipline. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But this, but but there's 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 people who think spanking is abusive. Who think? Yeah, they think. For one, they think spanking is abusive, but I wasn't gonna go with there. There's people who, who pretty much like once they get mad, they just get enraged, so they can't like some people just can't stop. So it's like, yeah, you're punishing them, you're spanking them, but you can't stop because you're like enraged. Then that's where the state gets in. That's where the state comes in. That's right. So cool. Yeah. Was this number four? Uh, Number three. We're only doing five. No, this is four actually. No, we've only this is we've only done two. No, we've done three. The we did cheating. Cheating, history of mental health. We did, yeah. This is four. 
Yeah, it's his four. He's right. Thank you. Yeah, he's. Um, the next question is: There should be a cap on how much an individual can earn in a year. No, absolutely not. Whoever made that, no. is, let me not get into that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> super left. Um, but anyways, <laughs> no. If you, if, I don't think there should be a cap on anyone's money. Period. Because if you're working and you're working for your money, you should make as much money as you can. Literally. Like, the, like yes. the, even like the tax system is so stupid, bro. Yeah. If you, if I make twelve million dollars in one year, and you charge and you tax me six million dollars off of the hard earned work money that I did. Yes. Bro, yeah, what? around that. There so, is. do you think our system is faulted? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, it's corrupted. It's faulted for rich people for sure, and like people that don't make as much money get taxed more. Oh. Um, well, like I mean, they the, the rich get taxed more. They but get taxed they get, more, but like they their bracket they is they're taxed not, more, but they loophole around should, it where they yeah, don't they have don't pay to pay what they should pay according to like metrics, data, stuff like that. But absolutely not, because I mean that's like, bro, that's that's thing about that's like if you sell a product and like your product just goes crazy that year, like you invent something and it just sell, and it's just like, oh no, you can only make a million dollars off this, like that's all you can make. And that's just like very like socialist. So like kind of diving deeper into that question, a lot of people are like, well, Jeff Bezos has all this money. Like he should donate most of it. That's his money. But okay. Yeah, I don't oh, agree if you with that. Donate, if you donate it, cool, sure. But how much of the donation actually goes to that organization? There's a lot of organizations who take more of the money than actually help for one. For two, at Amazon's only growing. So he's gonna have to pay some some way somehow. If he gives away most of his money, I mean, yeah, granted, one hundred and fifty billion dollars is a lot of money. But it's like if you want, like, how we had the conversation about um, Xbox that one day. If you want to keep, um, oh yeah, um, China won the, huh? Go ahead. I was just trying. If, to if you if you want to keep, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ev- no, if you want to keep having uh, evolution, basically, like, just oh, now they're doing right, pharmaceutical right, right. drugs. Right. So, if, like, if you want to keep going into these different places, like, you have to have money to be able to do that. And then you have to have money to pay those people. And then you have to have money to do the do all the tests before you even release this stuff. Well, I think people that complain about stuff like that are the people who don't have the money. Or they don't do anything. Like, they, like they aren't. Honestly, I think people who complain about stuff like that are just lazy people. Yes. Like, like you know, like, if you want something, go out and go, get it. Go get it. Literally. Like, and, like, I don't, I'm not going to go that what route, but, like, go that route. Uh, this is kind of, like, okay, 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 so it's, like, I want to dive deep into politics, but, like, people think, like, if you don't vote right, then you're, like, lazy and don't want to work for stuff. People think if you vote left, then, like... I just vote for whoever the best person and that, is. But, and that's what I'm trying to... That's what I'm like, to, to me, and I, and I told you, this is not even about... That. When I told you in the election, it's like, there shouldn't even be any parties. Just vote for whoever the better person is. Like, parties are policies. so dumb. Yeah. Like, just vote for who everything is right. And it's like, I'm just neutral to that. Because, like, there's people just like, oh, like, or she wants to do this. And it's like, you know, like, if you fall in that tax bracket, if your parents are wealthy enough to earn that kind of money, everyone should be... A, everyone should want to be able to make a certain amount of money to where their kids and then like their generational wealth they're set up like you shouldn't be punished for having money like yeah. and that's what people like don't understand like and then they and then like people like want stuff handed to them it's just, like no like you, I truly believe you can change anything in your life if you really just work hard and put your mind to it obviously people are going to have certain advantages but you literally can change it if you just do what you got to do and take the necessary steps I'm not saying you're going to all get rich but you can definitely like increase your your generational wealth for your like where your parents were to where you're at and you can continue to build on that if you teach your kids like the same kind of foundation yeah. and like people don't do that like i said it, it, i think you should make as much money as you possibly can if you're working hard like it, like i understand why we have like a a wage system but i don't think it's fair for by any means that I'm making thirteen dollars an hour, and you're making thirteen dollars an hour. But I'm doing all the stuff, and you're doing nothing. I'm, I'm doing ninety percent of the stuff you're doing. Yeah, you should get paid stuff. more. Like I should be getting paid more. Yeah, or if I'm bartending and you're bartending, and I'm getting majority of the people, and you're taking not so many people, but we have to like split the tips, like stuff like that. It's and like, it just caps you. You out. should you should get paid on whatever your work is. Like there's people who literally like work damn near 
twenty four seven. Like they, there's people that literally sleep for like four hours a day, and they leave yeah. just work every. And night. I guarantee you, Jeff Bezos is one of them. Yeah, and it's and like I guarantee you, Steve Jobs is one of them. It's like you got to uh, do that to get to a certain place. Was one well, of it's them? It's not now, um, but like, well, yeah, at, at, best, a, at but a time. But Bill Gates probably. is yeah, one of them. Michael Dell was one of them. Like, they didn't just get there. Yeah. By his, you got to lay down the groundwork. Like, yeah. Like, there's just so much stuff that goes into it. Like, there's a reason, like, Jeff Bezos and 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 um, Michael Dell and Steve Jobs that, like, made all this money. Like, and people just see, and that's another thing, dude, too. People just see, like, like in results, and they don't see, like... Yeah, like, that. if I ma- like if I did all this work and I'm making this much money, mm-hmm. like, yeah, I'm going to want my money. Like, who knows the, the amount of... Out- like, Amazon didn't really take off until, really... My opinion, like Amazon Prime, yeah. and he's been doing Amazon since like the '80s or '90s. Yeah, and they started in his garage, but it's like stuff like that. Like he started in his garage, and nothing really has like nothing has a value, and that's the thing. I think people set values on everything. Like I like value is literally depending on who's the buyer, who's buying it. So yeah. like you're not gonna just you can't say like, oh, this person did this, so I'm gonna cap them out at this, and that's the bad. Like it's a bad thing too with like jobs and stuff because they do that. Like you can get you get capped out with jobs, but like people that start their own business and stuff, like literally, like if you make like a t-shirt company and you make like a million dollars in revenue, it's like people don't understand. Like if you got capped out, you can make a million dollars in revenue one year, and then the next year you can make like ten thousand dollars. Like it's literally just random, especially when you start a business. Like there's no set number you're gonna hit every year, so it's like you shouldn't get capped out either. So yeah. I think going back to what Carlos said about like how people just see what's on the surface, like as a creator. And someone asks me to make like a two minute video and then you give them a price and they're like, oh, well, that's like expensive for a two minute video. But it's like, yeah, that two minute video that you want is going to end up taking me 12 hours, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like you don't see the it's not just like drag and go, drag and go, drag and go. Yeah. And so like other creators I know can understand that. And like we don't just sit here and plug in mics and press record. Yeah. Like there's other stuff that goes into it that people on the outside looking in don't see and that goes with everything like nobody ever sees the struggle in anything all no. they see is and they just see a finished product and then that's what you get judged on the most so it's like you know like uh, i don't know to, to what he said how do you feel about the jeff bezos thing like I, oh I, absolutely i mean that, that that every time i see people on especially on twitter i'm just like one like stop complaining two like literally just because someone has this amount of money does not mean they have to solve everyone's fuck ups or problems. Yeah. It, like, you know? I mean, I, I I saw a thing today. It was like if if uh, it's funny that you actually bring it up because it's like if Jeff Bezos gave everybody in the world a billion dollars, uh, they would be out of poverty, and he would still have like a hundred and some odd billion dollars. But it's like. But it's not what his. people don't understand is that most of his net worth is in like Amazon shares. That's not like liquid cash, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like he can't just like, he doesn't Pull have that same yeah. bank just, account. Yeah. It's yeah. just off through Amazon, which. Yeah. 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 And it's not his job to, to literally do fix that. that. It's, like people at the end of the day, people. It's the am I? It's the you, the the world power's job, like the government's job, or whatever. Well, there's a form of government everywhere. It's like the government's job to the fix UN, all United that stuff. Nations. Yeah, like at the end of the day, people are gonna de- like at the end of the day, you're gonna decide every single day, every day, t- every single day you wake up, you're gonna de- decide if you're gonna better yourself. You gotta cry, dog. It's okay. I'm burping. You gotta better. You're gonna better decide if you're gonna, or you're gonna decide if you're gonna better yourself or not. You're either gonna give yourself a great 24 hours or whatever, or you're gonna just BS. And like the more you BS, there's always someone working just as hard as you what's anywhere the, in the world. What's that quote that The Rock said? Like every day I wake up knocking on the devil's door, or some shit like that. I, uh, Tyron yeah. Matthew says like uh, he, he'll he'll say like uh, he said rent rent is due but it was already paid like in practice or something before like their games are played and it's like literally that's like the same with principle with like a job or something or like whatever money you make like there's people who literally make their rent or whatever their bills are in an hour or whatever right and it's like is it their fault for making that money or did they capitalize on an opportunity so it's like, at the end of the day, like some people aren't as fortunate as others, but it's like you can even compare it to sports. Like there's people that literally were walk-ons, didn't have the opportunity to play, things like that. Then they, they bust their ass, they get to a place, and like they're available to play and they're ready to play because they capitalized on opportunity. They didn't just say like, hey, 
you know, I can't do this because my potential was capped out right here. Yeah. Like I went above and beyond it. And like the same thing with making money. Yeah. You can do that. He said, be the type of person that when your feet touch the floor in the morning, the devil says, oh, shit, they're up. That's what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. So. You ready for the last question? Yes, sir. <laughs> All forms of gene editing should be embraced. Gene edit? Like, so like, like people? Like, like genes, like in people? I guess. Gene. I mean, is it spelled G-E-N-E? Yeah. Yeah, so like, like G- Gene, you can edit genes? I guess. It says, it said embrace. It said embraced? Yeah. Um, no. Why Because I think if that, I think if you could just go, to me, that, that's putting in my mind that you can go make a superhuman. So like, say if you want your kid to be fucking 6'4", swole, like 230, D1, like, running a 4-4, like, you could do that, I guess, if you, like, could genetically enhance genes. And if you had the money. Yeah, and that's just not right. Like, that's just not real life. That's just not... And that doesn't... And that just, and then when, when stuff gets to that point, then like, that's going to make stuff like sports, uh, anything really obsolete. Like, you can make a, a... Not even with sports, you can make someone, like, incredibly smart, if that's possible. Like, move stuff for their brain or whatever, and then, like, you can make, like, a super smart person. They can, like, start whatever business. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, I think that's just crazy to think about. I didn't know that was possible. That's why I'm like, I'm still in shock. I'm like, what? Like, like, I'm hearing you talk. I'm just like thinking about all this stuff. I'm like, like what? Yeah, because it's literally like, it's like when you make a, it's like when you make an avatar like on GTA or like whenever Cyberpunk comes out, you're like literally creating them. It's like, <laughs> like if you can do that, that's like in, kind of insane. Like, I don't think you should. Can you do that? that? I, I'm sure you can. We just I'm, don't know about well, it, you know? Think about it, people try it all the time. Like when, like when tall and tall people, tall and like athletic people try to get together. Like, it's not the same, but there's definitely things that people like when that guy tried to have when that when that guy tried to have Venus and LeBron have a baby. Yeah, yeah. He like said like he'll pay like a billion dollars. Yeah, something like that. And when you like mix kids or like, um, or like I want this or this person looks good. He has like crazy eyes, so I want to like have kids with him because I, I want to assume you. Can. What you know, the hell? Yeah. I mean, I feel like that's easier than. But like people like. Like, how can you go into something before it's born? Like, or like, how can you go into? I don't know. I, I, yeah, like we have surrogate I don't know if I'm thinking about this the correct way, but like, I I don't know. Like, how can you go into like, the woman's body when she's pregnant and form him before he's even like, growing into what he's supposed to be? I mean, we have that's surrogate mothers, mothers, you know. Like, we like, take an egg from a separate woman and the sperm from another man. And put it in another woman, a different woman. You can do that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. You can get, like, people, like... But I feel like that's also still... I mean, like, a maybe, lot of, like... I don't... Like, a lot I of... I mean, does uh, it come... Or, or, uh, when yeah. it's born, does it come out as the original, like... Who knows? Mother and father? Or does it come out this, the one you put it in? Yeah, the, the one that you're putting it in, she's just the host to, like... Yeah, I think... So the, it's going to have the genes of the I, other person. I think this... So you're not modifying the genes is a thing, though. Yeah, but I mean, so it's still the same person. Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you can. You're still not modifying the genes, though. Like, how can you modify the genes before it's even formed? Is what I'm saying. GMO foods. Yeah, I think. Well, I think everything is like. like I feel like that's more simpler than like. But think about how much bigger, more simple, kids, bigger than, kids are now. Like, but I feel like that's just times and what they're eating. Like, I don't know, bro. I think it's insane that a NFL DN is like 300 pounds and can run a four. Yes, six. but that's but that's not. Like that should not be. It's but what that, they're eating. Okay, it's also with the training. Okay, so training okay but that's still better. that literally that point. That's literally to me. It's literally point oh one percent of people. Well, yeah, it's rare. Like I, 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 that's that's crazy. Like, yeah, they shouldn't be humanly possible, but it is. But that's the person doing that, not a scientist but, or whatever. Okay, so what if we could genetically modify humans? Do you think that should be embraced? No. Have you seen yeah. iRobot? Yeah. I think the only thing to do for I think the only thing that would become that would benefit out of that would be to like make it to where you couldn't get a disease. Like maybe if you could see that is a disease. No, what do you mean? If you can, it, bro, if you can make some kind of superhuman. That's not what I'm talking about, though. I'm talking about like someone getting like cancer, like like someone getting like cancer, like at age 46 or something like that. Like maybe you can like see like what causes that and like prevent it, because like obviously there you get you get cancer all kinds of ways, right? But 
I'm just saying, like, if there's ways to, like, look into that and then, like, prevent diseases, prevent, like, you can make, like, perfect people, like, have people, like, like, not born small, have people, like, not born with diseases, not born with, like, disorders, like, things like that, then maybe it's, like, beneficial in that aspect. Look at that bullshit on the wall. But anyways, um, That's what I was pointing shit at. makes me fucking mad. <laughs> but, but anyways, um, just, like, things like that, like, that's good. So then you are embracing it. <sighs> can I say yes and no? No, I, I feel like I can't. I mean, I'm not. In, I'm not. In, I'm not like anti like like when people like if some, if some if people have like you know like a disorder and stuff like that. Like it's okay. Like that's what makes life beautiful. That's what makes humans beautiful. Like them being able to like I, like still function and stuff like that as long as they're healthy and things like that. He asked us a, a question a while back. I don't remember what your answer was, but are you for or against vaccines? Because that's what vaccines are for. I mean, it depends on what it is. I, I'm for vaccines. Like, I don't want freaking kids running around like anti-vaccine, like having chicken pox and measles and shit. I know, but I'm just saying that, that that's that's what that's what it, it was designed. For. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's not like gen- so. Why do you, I don't think that's modifying so, genetics? That's yeah, like that's not. Mod- you're just creating a vaccine at that point. Yeah. So you're not really I, modifying genetics. Is like literally like you can literally change like say like if your baby. Say, like, if you and your girlfriend have a kid and it, like, has, like, brown eyes or something, but you want to have blue eyes. Like, like doing shit like that, like, changing it. So you are embracing it? Not for that. Not for, like, cosmetics or not for them to be, like... You're not embracing it because you said you're just for vaccines. And you that's, said the that's only not the no, same no, thing. no, but you're saying the only reason you would embrace it is for stuff like that. But at that point, they're just creating a vaccine. But that's not what I was saying. I'm talking about people that are, like, born with, like, scoliosis, like, diseases, like... People that are you know, so before they're born, yes, they don't have like, that. Like if you can like prevent that from some from from like kids, like kids having asthma, like just stuff like that. That it's like they're born with that, and it's like they can't fix it. Like they're stuck with it for life. Then it's like I would do it for that, but not for cosmetics or not for anything. Because like a vaccine, that's like that has nothing to do with that. Because that just has to deal with like a sickness. Okay, so if you could do that, would you? But it allows everything else like the cosmetics or no not. i'd be i'd say no because okay. then because so then because then it just gets to the point of where it's like nothing's original or organic like i feel like everyone would look alike and everyone would be perfect in their eyes and it's and then it's then it would just make stuff that we see every day that's not like dk metcalf for example like he's a freak of an athlete like that would just be normal like it would be normal it'd be just a bunch of dk metcalfs and calvin johnson's running around and people like lamar jackson but with the arm of patrick mahomes like it would be stupid like it would not it would just be stupid so you're not embracing it i'm not embracing it okay. no i actually am why because if you had dk metcalfs bro it'd be like watching blitz but that- the league <laughs> But that's not what what fun is that though? Because at that point you're never gonna get hurt, so you're not watching Blitz the fucking league. You're just watching football. That's painful. That's not fun to watch. Everybody's going at each other, two hundred percent. Okay, but then that sets a new standard. If everyone is playing at that level, no, you're not. Okay, if everyone's playing at that level, you're not gonna have your your Patrick Mahomes standing out from everybody. You're not gonna have your Lamar Jackson standing out from everybody. You're not gonna have your LeBron James's because everybody's at the same level. So who's gonna be the best one? Nobody, because they're all the same. So you can like, let's say they modify the genes. You still have to put in the work. You know, aren't they modifying the genes so you don't have to put in the work? I don't That's I feel like. So, so like I feel like that's the purpose of some it. Some people are like naturally so, like talented and here's big. Here's There's a misconception with steroids. Everyone thinks if you take steroids, you're just automatically going to be swole. No, no you have to put in the work. But, but that's with exactly. anything. So I think if that's with anything, I think that's how it would still be if you had to modify the genes. It would just be freaks of nature. Yeah, for sure. But then there would be a, that would be the new standard. And people who go above and beyond that would be playing at an insanely different level. I still don't feel like the people who do going above me on that, everybody's the same at that point. And I think it should be an option. Like I said, if you have the money, if you're willing to do it, but like just like everything else, there's always consequences for something. So I think if you're willing to do it and you have the money to do it, why not? Me personally, I wouldn't do it, but I'd, I'd be like, if you want to do it, go for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just think it would, like that's just so crazy to think about like, I'm literally just thinking about like, like if I were to make a kid, like, oh my god, he'd be a monster. I'm talking about like running four two, like swole yokes, like it'd be, it'd be, it'd be stupid. I know, but it's but 
the way we think we think that way already though yeah because you're like man if if i got with so-and-so it's like that's, we would have d1 saying. babies yeah like, i say that I, like, all the time yeah like, like we would have d1 babies like they're fast i'm fast i'm just like yeah. in general just like they're fast they're tall like they're, they're strong too like, tall and big yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like you know how big our babies would be you know how fast yeah. like we think like that already but we're not but it's literally like by, it's it. literally by chance and yeah like literally like everyone that has good genes is just like it just happens like there's just some kids that are just born with good genes like yeah. it's just random like there might be like people there might be a kid that comes from like two unathletic parents like never did anything and that might produce a kid that's like hella athletic just because it's from down the line yeah and it just it just happens and it's like I think everyone I think society I think everyone would become identical at, at one point if you could just make the same thing uh, I also don't embrace because it it's more beauty in it yeah oh being yeah people would make like Kylie Jenner's person. and like all kinds of stuff It'd be there's wild. more beauty in it being your own person exactly like I said, Even if you want, I don't, I don't know. But like, bro, I'm trying to well, I'm doing it to be competitive. My kid ain't gonna lack. So now ball. you're embracing it. No, I'm saying if it was <laughs> no, I'm saying if it was legal and like that was what was going on and like everyone else making super babies, I'm making a super baby too. I'm gonna have my kid out there lacking, getting smacked because he's undersized. Like, no, he's gonna be the same size as them. But I think, like I said, if that were to happen, you'd have to have definitely have the money. You'd have to be willing. Yeah, I feel like they would not be available to everybody. That'd be like yeah. some. I mean, it's like, available for everybody. <laughs> you gonna pay the funds? But that's t- no, and, th- and they would have to do something like if that was real, they'd have to be like, I feel like it'd cost like a hundred thousand dollars. Like, I'm just to make somebody it, literally in my head, I'm just thinking about Terminator. <laughs> that, <laughs> I'm just thinking about him, like, that's that's or Kratos, that's who we would build Terminator or Kratos. <laughs> that's nuts. who would be like Superman. Like, like at said, that point, you're literally <laughs> making superheroes. <laughs> Yeah, but at that point, you're literally making superheroes. I think, I think the world your, would be, conse- your consequences are your superhero. I think the world would be hella chaotic because somebody like with deviant, like think about all the people with like devious Facts. minds. They would make like back to the mental health thing. They like they would make like people that are like super like smart, swole maybe, or like athletic, but like smart and like but like criminal, like criminal smart. Like they can make what's his they name? can make like a hacker. What, what's like, his name? What, what's his name from Black Panther? Um, sorry, Michael B. Jordan. Start with a C, right? Yeah, kill Kill, yeah, that's who. That's what they would be. Yeah, oh, that'd be nuts. Like, he it? said all these tattoos were for people I killed, and he had his whole body was yeah. tatted with those marks. That's what we would. That's what would be made. <laughs> I mean, like, what if we're allowed to do that, but the life expectancy is only like thirty-eight or forty? You know, like, that'd be that's sad. There's always a consequence for something, good and bad. Well, then at that point, it's just like people would just die off. So, like, I feel like. So, I mean, like I said, it's available to everyone. It's just a matter. I feel like your brain isn't even... I feel like you... I feel like at that, at that point, people would still do it because you just know more are coming. Yeah. And I feel like there'd be ways to get around that. Like, I think, like, maybe there's a life expectancy at 40, but then, like, you're going to make someone so smart. Like, it's going to become, like, robotic. Like, you'd make someone so I smart. I said, I robot. Like, yeah, you'd make someone so smart, they'd be like, nah, there's a way to get past this. Uh, and they would, on, like, they would, like, look into it. On Facebook, they created, like, two robots... And then, like, they were so smart, they made their own language and started talking to yeah, each robots, other. Yeah, robots. No, I'm not. And then they had to, like, shut them down. Bro, they got to chill with those robots. Cause I'm telling you right now, if I see a robot walk in in the house, that thing's getting blasted to Kingdom Come. You ever seen that robot? Yeah. I'm, they, I'm, st- they kept walking. You ever seen Terminator? He kept walking, They're buddy. getting murked. You seen Transformers? They kept oh, walking. You're <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, I, w- I wouldn't. Uh, no, that's the, oh, that's the culture I can't embrace. Well, that was very, very interesting, and it went off. that. I don't understand that. That card is just so random, but we hope you guys can like this series. If you want to join in for discussion, just please feel free. We have two more mics, two more spots, so like we'll discuss this with anybody. But I think it's a good discussion because, it's it, one, it's just random. We have no idea what we're about to talk about, and two, it's just like definitely stuff that stirs up discussion. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with the cards. Yeah, I mean, I liked it. I had fun. I didn't yeah. really, like I said, I didn't know what they were. I just know you got the cards. I didn't really know what to expect from them. I mean, I kind of want to do more. <laughs> that, yeah. was yeah, that was fun. That was fun. That um, was fun. But um, that'll do it for us today. Um, again, these cards are brought to you by, what are they, just 40? 40, and it says follow. Uh, it says you can follow them at follow40, I think, on Twitter and Instagram. We'll pit it like again, um, it'll be up in a bubble, so you'll be able to see like their social medias and stuff. And um, we'll tag them in the episode and things like that if you want to go follow them that way. Yep. Um, but as always, make sure to like, subscribe.
subscribe and comment on our videos also go like subscribe and comment on theirs too um but with that being said your boys are out for this one peace